to lab number six, polarization to retardation plates. As before, we have our helium neon laser. We have a Polaroid that polarizes our light, a spatial filter, a call meaning lead system, a chopper, and our analyzer. And we have half wavelength of retard plate, quarter wavelength, and an unknown wavelength retardation plate. First, what we want to do is extinguish our wave with our analyzer, and we move it all the way down to 90 degrees. So the oscilloscope reads, the line is extinguished. Then we put in our retarding plate. And be sure that our waves extinguish. And we move the uh, retarding plate angle every 15 increments space. And read our amplitude every 15 degrees until 90 degrees. experiment. The setup is going to be the same, except we're going to replace the half plate with a quarter plate. And as in the first step, without the plate in view, you want to zero out the analyzer and extinguish the light, which is roughly 90 degrees. Next, you want to put the quarter plate in view of the beam. Put it at zero. And then in 30 degree increments, going around 360 degrees on the analyzer, you want to record the amplitude. And then in 15 degree increments, from zero to 90 degrees, on the half plate, or excuse me, the quarter plate, you want to record the amplitudes. For brevity, I'll just move to 45 degrees. And you should notice that as you go in 30 degree increments around the 360 degree rotation on the analyzer, that the amplitude is roughly the same, indicating circularly polarized light. experiment we're going to be testing for elliptical polarization. As, is, as in the previous two cases, you're going to make sure that your initial source is extinguished, which is roughly 90 degrees between the laser and polarizer. Then you're going to insert the quarter wave plate and then set it so that it's vertical and you can confirm that the light is extinguished. Now, you're going to be inserting a unknown wavelength plate into the beam line and then setting it initially 30 degrees. Now what you're going to do is measure in 15 degree increments between the quarter wavelength and then trying to extinguish the light with the analyzer and then recording the deviation in angles. Now you'll be rotating the quarter wavelength plate from zero to 90 degrees, and the analyzer will be going all the way around, trying to extinguish the light in each case. And then after that, you will be testing the unknown wavelength, wavelength plate at 45 degrees and 60 degrees, repeating the same steps.